WTFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN, mid-afternoon mid update here. We've got the Dow Jones near the high of the day. we got the NASDAQ in the new high ground, and the S&P 500 is within a heartbeat of closing at a new all-time high. Our guest today, direct from Vienna, Austria, will be Cycles Research King, Mr. Bill Meridian. He'll be on at the show here in just a few minutes as soon as we come up with the uh, first break. Uh, the Treasury bonds continue to move lower. Uh, talks of uh, uh, lower interest rates due to the Fed uh, starting to uh, bring their, uh, what do you call the, uh, uh, dropping the price of, uh, try to get my thoughts together here. <clears> throat> Excuse me, folks, I got a little bit of an allergy today. That's what's wrong with my throat. But it, they're trying to get the uh, Fed together to start dropping interest rates. Now, if they start dropping interest rates with the market going up, that's going to be a very unusual thing because usually they do that the opposite. But things are different this time. We are moving so fast to the upside with these mega stocks and artificial intelligence stocks, folks. It appears that uh, we have a blow off that is going on. How long will it last? We'll have to wait and see. But usually the old market says whatever goes up will come down. But Maybe not in our lifetime. That's the one thing that we have to remember. We had a big move in gold today. Uh, it got all the way up to uh, 2041. Uh, we're now trading at 2030. It's backed off just a tiny bit, really not very much. But uh, other than that, the markets are holding their own, uh, doing pretty much what we thought they were going to do. Now, the one thing that we want to remember, folks, that we are in this month of January, which is the most key cyclical month of the whole year from our perspective. We've got a lot of things happening, and there'll probably be more happening, but we've got to be ready to act. And all we're going to do is follow the patterns. That's really what we're going to be trying to do. So remember, our guest today is Bill Meridian. He'll be coming up right after this break, uh, God willing, and she usually is. But we'll be uh, we'll be doing that uh, just shortly, okay? So live every day, <clears throat> excuse me, in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless and stay tuned for Bill Meridian of Cycles Research for a fabulous show, as always. I hope I got the timing right. Oh, I got 30. Oh, I did all right. Came with this. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for 